But right now, we have the matchup that many of you are waiting for. In the Constellation bracket, the final opening round game, it is XQC. It is Fusli. And we're going to have liftoff pretty shortly. So let me ask you both. Last match of the opening round, are we just going to expect the unexpected at this point? I don't even know what the unexpected is. I think I think it's going to be fun either way. I think uh, there will be plenty of mistakes, and it's 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 just going to be very enjoyable to watch. Ludwig. Oh, sorry, it wasn't my turn to talk, so I wasn't thinking. Robert, what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, who's going to win? Something like that. Look, I asked I you if we we're going to expect the unexpected, or do you have any idea what's about to happen? I, on. On God, I, I think XQC shouldn't have gone live. I think it was a mistake. He decided to do it. He's a streamer first. He's the best at streaming. I have to admit that. No one puts in the hours that he does, but I don't know. The problem with XQC is the problem that most streamers have playing chess. Chess is resident sleeper unless it's fast. It just is. Like a 10-minute like game, if you're just playing against a random, doesn't have stakes behind it, chat doesn't care. So you have to do like three O's, you know? And then XQC, even more Zoomer, does like one O's. And if you're playing those, you're not improving. <laughs> you're just doing what you already know because you don't have time to think and develop new strategies. So I, I think the, the amount of time he's put in is a lot, and I, I think he has improved. But his on-screen chess time has not been the most efficient way to play chess. And do we know, Hikaru, if XUC has also received some off-stream coaching, or what's that been not, like? Not as far as I know. I certainly have, have, not, have not coached him. Um, so maybe he's looked up some stuff offline, but I don't think he's taken any lessons. Gotcha. Well, I was working with Fusli last night and she was very concerned about what if XUC is working off stream and he's been stream sniping. And I think all players to some extent are, are worried that people will know what they're going to do. But uh, she, she kind of didn't know what to expect either. And I said, I, I don't know what to tell you. Just play your best stuff. Don't blunder your pieces. Work through your thought process. I mean, it's and XUC. Do we ever really know? <laughs> I will say, so he got banned, right? And then he had like a 600 rating, I remember, and then came back from being banned and had like an 800-something rating. Mm -hmm. So, mm. like, he grinded off stream and clearly, you know, put a little more effort into his games. It didn't have to worry about entertaining chat because, like, he does always think about what chat is being entertained or not entertained by. And he'll move on very quickly. So, I think I, – I wish he was offline right now. I think it would be a much closer game if not a win. Uh, the fact that he's streaming, I, I'm nervous for him. Mm -hmm. Well, Leslie Fusli, she is white in the first game. She starts with her D4. She loves her party hat in the London. So let's see how XUC even responds in the very first move. Oh, is he still doing puzzles? I yeah, yeah. he's he is not. He's doing puzzles. He's crushing the puzzles. <laughs> admittedly, let's listen in. I believe XQCL. Can I get a new boop? Hurrah. You boop. Wow. Oh, One okay. game. <laughs> Good luck, PVC. Right, maybe he's so confident that he wanted to give Fusli a 30 second lead. Okay. They had to. Wait, why? They're going to restart the game. Okay, he just okay. wasn't aware. Okay. Sorry about that. If TTS doesn't Lined say it, how is he supposed to know, guys? <laughs> <laughs> True. True. What do I even do here? I kind of have to match this, right? <laughs> did he say, what do I do on E4? I don't, I don't like the Queen's Ball opening. I think he it's did. trash. I'm the first move. I, I hate this opening. I think, I, I think it's garbage. What's he gonna do? I don't know what to do here. He and I are asking the same questions. Just, just keep on doing with this. If I don't know what to do is black, all I do is mirror them for like the first eight. Mm-hmm. And I think that usually works. Like you can. I don't even know. Can you dude. just bring your bishop to where his bishop is, your knight to where that knight is, and on the same mm -hmm. file? It's fine. It's fine. Yeah, actually, that's a very good decision to bring this bishop out here, 
because you get to develop your queen side fully, and then you can push your pawn e6 without blocking your bishop in at home. So, whoa. Did Fuzi just make the move in 0.4 seconds? I think she, I think she made a pre-move, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh! I, I know she feels confident in her London system. I, I don't know if moving in 0.4 seconds is a great idea, though. Right, I right. I get where XQC is coming from, because I do hate playing against the London system, because I'm so much more used to, like, E4, or even, like, I don't know, something... something. D4 is weird, and I hate seeing it, but once you figure out that you can just kind of mirror, you're good. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, Hikar, you coached him, so obviously it's something you showed him. What, oh, what's no. going on here? What's going on here? Uh, he's, I, didn't, I didn't show him this, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> okay, but he's going to be down one pawn if she takes, which I assume she sees already. Uh, but this is kind of a cheese in a way, because it's like, Maybe he feels he has to do something right away to go for it. And if she doesn't take the pawn, oh, E4 with the oh. fork. E4. Oh, no. See, this is I talked to Fusi about this. And oh, oh, <laughs> XQC I found did. it. He found it. I talked to her about this. It's when you react, you, you trust your opponent too much. Because XQC played E5. She said, oh, you know, he did it for a reason. But she... Someone mm -hmm. thinks that she'll blunder without realizing that her opponent may also make a mistake. So we could tune into Fusi to see her reaction now because I don't think she's particularly thrilled. Oh my God. I have to cut my losses. Don't panic. Don't panic. <laughs> it's fine. You know what? He'll take my bishop. I don't need it. I didn't want it anyway. Oh my God. This is terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay. Okay. How did this happen? Okay. What if I just take him first? Well, no, I'll still lose a piece. Oh my god, he's kind of insane. <laughs> what if I go here? I don't know. I have to make a move. I'm gonna lose my bishop here. He's insane. I'm gonna lose my bishop. Oh my god, I'm so bad. Oh my god, what did I just do? Oh my god. I'm sorry, Hess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm panicking. I have to do. Now, Hess, you're a coach, so can you explain this blunder chain? Oh, Is that guys. okay? Um. <laughs> Is this something I can't you worked on? I, I can explain this. So. When he put e5, instead of stopping, pausing, thinking about how many pieces she had attacking the square, because she had the perfect setup here, she freaked out, and as she just said, she's panicking, <laughs> so she moved her bishop back as a way to not commit to anything. I see. But she, she should have captured on e5, because she has three pieces attacking it, only two defending, mm -hmm. and now we see in the game, she's losing a piece, but, well, she lost a piece. She still can fight, though, because she can take... She took back this pawn. I think that's the best choice. Keeping more pieces on the board. She is down now a bishop for one pawn. But Ludwig, let's ask you, know, let me ask you. You see this position, right? Yeah. White is clear down material, but it doesn't look so clear, does it? Because there's still so many pieces on the board. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal. I don't know. I, I think it's fine. Like, you can come back from this because it's like you, you don't have a pawn on E file as black, which sucks. White does, uh, and so uh, you know, just you got to do your thing. You can still bring out your knight. It ain't that big of a deal. Like plus two, minus two. I think you enough blunders will happen that that's the variance. You just did yours a little early. What do you think, Agara? Yeah, I mean, I think the main the main problem with the position is that since I did originally show Fusli the uh, the London system, is that none of the principles, none of the ideas really apply anymore. Like all the basics that that you look for, they they're just gone in this position. So that, that my main concern is finding moves that that make sense. But it applies to both players because they're not open lines, and so you have, kind of have to maneuver your knights and your bishops to the right squares. And I don't think this really suits either player. So I think definitely the game is still very unclear. For sure, and this is a pretty obscure structure with pawns in f6 and g6. But I think x 2 c playing bishop f5 is a great first choice. And I wonder if he'll go castle queenside because he has fewer pieces to move out the way to get his king over there. Right, and the one thing I would add as well, that and this is, I think, only XQC that I've really seen this with, but it happens all the time, it's his failure to develop piece, all the pieces on the back rank. Usually he leaves one side with undeveloped. He doesn't bring out, like, the, the rook and the knight on, next to the queen, or he doesn't bring, like, the rook and the knight next to the king. So this is the, the main thing I've seen, is that he has this issue with bringing all the force into the game. But he plays bishop d6, which is a great move. For okay. sure. And let's listen in to XQC to hear his thoughts I mean, I mean, as he is up a piece. I'm forcing trades, which is good because I'm plus two. And now that, I'm forcing better developments for me. And I can, I can get a long range uh, castle here. 
I think he's good in this game because I have more pause on this side. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. I can't tell. <laughs> Look, chat. See my icon right there? You see that? Show your flare. What is that? What, what is this animal? Think about it. It's a Komodo. <laughs> tell me why it's a Komodo, guys. Hey, tell me. Why is that a Komodo? That's great. Now nah, it forces the town. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that trade. Now his pawns are towered and the file is open. The gates are open. The gates have officially opened. Sounds like he was gatekeeping there. Oh, he's speaking parcel Watch pump? this. <laughs> Bing, bang, bop. <laughs> and it runs the queen. She says, Music is very soothing. Does it show any checks? Dude, another one! Another one! Another one! More power! <laughs> another one! I've never seen someone be so happy about stacked pods. Another tower pod! <laughs> oh my god! She's gonna fall for it! <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting. It makes the board look like. <laughs> oh I feel my like I'm God. watching Lord of the Rings. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They're just like hitting the ring with a hammer. <laughs> I'm gonna get my, my knife into play. Honestly, they're both playing very Dude, well. She's pre moving. What is this? I, I think the way XQ plays is actually really difficult to play against. Here's the thing, and we, we talked about it a bit. Our coaching sessions are basically two-hour sessions, one-hour sessions where we memorize a set of 10 possible openings, and it all goes out the window the moment XQC plays, what is it, two pawns straight up on the, on the right side? Nothing I did matters anymore. I don't know why I'm playing the London system, but I don't know, I don't know what the hell this is. What am I supposed to do here? Mm -hmm. And so it's such a jarring, jarring difference. And maybe it's bad conventionally if you know what you're doing. But the thing is, we don't. That's honestly, that's a very fair point. And I've talked, I try to talk that through with Bruce Lee last night. Just like, you're not going to know what's going to happen. So react to their moves, right? You mm -hmm. shouldn't just say, I'm, I have a strategy. I know what you do. You should see what your opponent's plan is. And she missed the first one, right? She missed that move E5 coming E4. But since then, she's played very reasonably. So mm -hmm. she's actually up over a minute on the clock. And that, I think, will be very important in this particular game because it's so close. So, you know, Hikaru, in this type of position, how do you think that White should proceed? And how do you think XUC will be able to handle it if the position doesn't open up? Because he is an aggressive player. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, it's important that she puts her rook on the C file, tries to attack down towards that that knight and the pawn behind it. But again, it's it's a very hard position. I feel like both players, we're going to see mistakes. I think we've not seen the end of the mistakes. There are going to be mistakes from both players going forward simply because nothing is open. There are no open files, really. And with all these pawns, it's just very close. So figuring out, this is where it would have helped if XUC had done some puzzles or had had some pattern recognition. Because what he needs to do here is try to checkmate the white king. And it's not easy to um, come up with ideas to do that. Yeah, and Ludwig, well, what, what are you thinking about in this position? Because we know that black is up a knight for just one pawn. But what would the plans that you would devise, what, what would those be? I mean, I think he knows, right? He knows that that, that file's wide open on H. I feel like there's something you can do ah. there. Oh. Uh, I, think, I like it. Yeah, is he... He's making room for his knight, and he's also I, this. This seems five head. Hikar, are you sure you haven't been giving mm -hmm. XUC some pointers? No, here I haven't. But actually, I was also going to ask. His rating is eight forty. He's yeah. been improving. He's yeah, been like grinding. he's been. He was playing off off stream because I thought his rating was down like six fifty or something. So yeah, he was playing off stream then quite a bit. I think you taught him a secret Papega system or whatever you guys call it, <laughs> and it's just doing something that we've never ever prepared for. And it's genius. Because when he tries doing something like the scotch, we saw what happened. When he does it his own way, it turns out to be a brilliant maneuver. Yeah.
But this is a great move by Foosley, setting up a very dangerous tactic here if he takes the pawn. Oh, wow. 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 He's, is he's that a wire? That? Is that, you love that because now the, the knight's trapped? Well, you have to move the knight and then you lose the pawn. The knight guards the pawn on d4. Hmm. So you're removing the defender of that pawn because if the knight doesn't move, then you take the knight with your pawn. And now you go knight takes pawn. But I will say the downside of this putting this pawn here is it's now much easier to attack. So mm -hmm, once this queen, say, retreats to d1, then this pawn is under attack, and the king is feeling a little breezier, but it is a great move. Uh, mm -hmm. he find, he's, he's really on his game right now. And see, actually, Ludwig, this is where I, I would tell you, like, when I say perfect moves are not perfect, if, if, I, if a grandmaster played this pawn push and took the pawn, I would say it's perfect. But based on where the ratings are, I, don't, I would say this is not perfect play because there is very serious risk to the black king here. So when I do say perfect, usually it's because it's considering how the quality of the move, but also the danger when you're gaining material. So it's like you're perfect in your own way, sweetie. Exactly. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Wow. Oh, that makes me feel a lot better. Okay, cool. And Fuse had a had a very good reaction. Let's listen on XQC's thoughts to see well now that he's won a pawn, if he feels like his king is too open or if he feels like he has everything under control. Yeah, and time is important too. So here we have XQC. I like, I like this better. <laughs> this means this one's gonna, is, is gonna die. Cause I, I, I thought it was already. Bing, bang, bing. No, bing, bang, bing, bang. And then he gets a free pawn. The move here would've been to support my pawn with the, with the double. That slows down my pace and I'm running out of time. You guys agree with his Bing Bang surmization? More or less. This knight's gonna have to be supported. I'm at, I, I also need to push have. Him. This knight will be in the uh, screen. This and knight she's will be ambushed in a crossfire. Seeing the same things. Support knight with the pawn. We cannot let Victor <laughs> fall into battle. Switch between both streams. It's a different atmosphere. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. Don't fall. Don't fall, man. <laughs> we got you. <laughs> he is showing great support to his pieces, though. That Ooh. is sweet. Whoa, what is knight of three? Oh, pawn uh -oh. takes knight. Uh-oh. Big blunder incoming. He's thinking in his head right now, was this stupid or brilliant? This doesn't do much. Hello? He decided on stupid. I had the X. <laughs> <laughs> the fortress. Look, they're all supporting each other as one. <laughs> oh, he Professor that, XQC. He said that as Bang. one got taken. <laughs> but I think it works. Professor XQC, you know? Bang! Bang! <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs>
She might be under. Her brain's under attack. Her brain's under attack. That seems wishful. This is it. I am evolving. <laughs> Just don't blunder. Don't <laughs> blunder. Don't blunder. <laughs> Is there a check we can do here? As the hero would say, no checks available. Take the queen! I think three minutes is more than enough. I feel like it's very late, right? It is time for battle. I, it's a lot of time, but if you trade off too many pieces and the pawns come off, then it will be hard to win. So that's the only mm -hmm. thing that... I'm looking mm -hmm. at so he he's often trade of rooks is great because the rook mm -hmm. on d1 was trying to come to d7 but if you trade too much and your pawns get off the board then it's going to be very difficult correct although i think the fact that xuc has brought the last rook into the game the one piece that he was on its original square um i think he should win this game now um the only reason that i think maybe he won't win this game is if he blunders one of his knights if he blunders a knight that's really the only danger that I see here. But as long as he makes relatively quick moves, I, I it's hard for me to see a way for there to be tricks that will that kind of like are real blunders. That's that's sort of the way that I I just don't see it here with only one rook on the board. And this makes it easier for him too, right? Like Foosley yeah. trading the rooks. Mm -hmm. yes. So yeah, I mean that was the one thing Ludwig is also like when you're ahead, like you don't even mind if you make some of these exchanges because it just means your opponent doesn't have any pieces. So like you really can't tunnel vision when your opponent only has like one rook or a bishop and a knight because it's only one thing that you have to worry about like attacking all your forces. Yeah, my dream is baiting out a trade for every single piece and then I can just go through with like my remaining piece and then like kill all the younglings, you know, all the mm -hmm. all, get all the pawns out of there, make my queen. This is what we we're talking about with Nim too. I, I think I think there's no chance he loses this. I, I I'm saying that and I'm nervous saying it, but really I feel like with this much uh of an advantage, mm -hmm. he can just trade down everything, and then he'll he'll be able to figure it out with the time remaining. Yeah, I think I think he should be able to. I think a lot depends on how quickly he moves here. This is the main danger is is getting too low on the uh, on time. Good move, knight wow. to d two. Now, will she see rook d one? Is another interesting question too. Because then that knight can't move, right? You were just talking about Ludwig seeing these knight pins. Not easy, but here rook d1 puts that knight under threat. The rook is defending it, but it can't move, and that can be frustrating. Mm -hmm. And she needs to figure out as well. She can play f3 here, which defends her pawn that's under attack. And we actually have her stream up. We can listen in, so let us go to Fusi right now. I don't know if I should move my rook here. Oh, I should move my rook here probably to pressure his... Is that how it works? Keep the pressure on him, right? Right? Yeah, why am I running? I'm gonna attack you. <sighs> Frick, actually, it's not very helpful. Oh, he's like... Looks like she's making both moves you talked about. Here. I'm in a bad situation. But XTC responded really well to protect situation. the knight, uh, the rook with the knight. Time's running down. What to do? Keep sneaking my pawn by, maybe. Maybe he'll make it. Maybe he won't even notice. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that's fine. I I knew that was coming. Okay, so say I go here, right? This is where I'll begin thinking five moves ahead. I go here, right? He has to move his this, right? So he'll like go Probably somewhere else. Pawn. Um, or wherever, right? <laughs> yeah, she pointed the two that would be very convenient. What? <laughs> Maybe I can force him into a stalemate. I think it's very important she moves fast. She's down one minute on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. She said she could request a draw. That is that is a clever tactic. I think that... XQC 
would be the last person on earth to ever accept a draw in any position. Mm -hmm. I think he'd also be the first to accidentally click it, though. <laughs> also probably true, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, I feel like she, I, I've been in this spot. She's in that spot where you're like, you're, you're down so much. You're nervous. You don't know what to do. And all you do is like, you make efforts. So for example, when I see a pawn walking towards being a queen and I'm like two spots away with my king, I follow it. Even though I can't get there in time, I know that. And I know when it becomes a queen, I can't even enter the zone, but I feel hopeless and powerless. I, like I must do something. Mm -hmm. that right. Makes sense. Yeah, it does, that makes a lot of sense, actually. And actually, she can start by taking one pawn with check and then taking the second pawn over here. And Hikaru, it's what we were talking about earlier, yeah. where there were many queenside pawns, but if you lose two of them over there, that's where it starts becoming difficult. Mm -hmm. Right. I still think he should win this because I don't see how White's going to be able to take all the pawns without losing some of your own pawns on, on B2 and A2. But again, it's not, it's not, it's not over yet. And the main issue is again that she's so far behind on the clock that um, that I think it's going to be very hard for her to find these moves because I think she's panicking a little bit already. She did express that last night. She was like, "Oh, XQC always plays bullet. Like he 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 does that bullet, and I don't. Like, I don't. I don't. No, I can't do that. It's too quick. So in time trouble, it's going to be difficult for her. She does have the five second added to her clock with every move, but mm -hmm. I, she's not used to it. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I am getting nervous because I definitely don't think he's going to be able to find a mate with just a rook and two knights, mm -hmm. uh, at least in the time frame. So, yeah, I'm, get, I'm getting a little – I feel like this is still fine, though. This is still fine. He's fine, right? He should be fine, but, it's yeah, it's getting a little bit tricky. Yeah, and you know, just a reminder to everybody that no matter what happens in this game, there will be a second game. So let's say XQC does convert this. Fusi will have – a chance to come back and so it's a two-game match get each color and king e6 was but, a good move but the, i'm really worried that he might go king d5 next move and blunder rook d7 this is what i'm really worried about oh good call that's why i don't like this move at all because you're going with some of the principles oh using wait i would have done that too yeah yeah that's don't a say great that move. no it's a great move what a great move that would have been well, let us go to XQC right now and hear what he's thinking in this position. Come on, you got this. Love that. That's a great move. It's not the same though. <laughs> oh, but she, she found it. Look what she did. Oh, she, oh, there's this check. Oh, I only saw the D3. Okay. Oh no. It's okay. I can just buy it. Just do my night, whatever. It's, 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 just, it's crazy. The first back. real chess terminology he knows is flagging. <laughs> <laughs> Go, 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 go. There's no right play here. Come on. Love a block of the night.
That was a sick idea. Check my discovery. Check my discovery. Trade. Uh, I'm gonna okay, look, can we talk about Queen Knight? Queen Knight checkmates. What, what, what has to, is, How do you do that? It's the same way you do it with a king and a queen, actually. You just leave the knight far away, and then you just use the king and the queen. Oh, so the knight doesn't even matter. Right. Oh, yeah, right? yeah that makes sense. That makes sense. I okay. think that's the simplest way to think about it. It's just you know how to mate with a queen and a king, so yeah. you can even give away your knight and then do what you would do without it. Do we know if he knows how to do that? Uh, I think he might, and... he. I've definitely never point. shown him how to mate with a king and a queen. But you showed him discover tactics with the queen on eight checking the. King no, I, I didn't show him any of that. I think this is just off, this is just off stream that he. Did. That discover tactic was great. Yeah, he's really improving. He just made it a lot harder on himself to have to win like this rather than with rook and queen. Right. Oh, I'm nervous for him now. He's plenty of time though. Yeah. She offered a draw. <laughs> Hey, yo, that's funny. <laughs> He's scoffing. Damn, I've never seen him make that face. Okay, right, king well, and queen. Let's see if he knows it. Okay. He did it. So for this one, you, you, oh, what, do you, yeah, you, what do you guys call it? You force you, it into one pose. of the corners. Yes. And once the king gets in the corner, you stay away from these two squares. Because if your queen is on these squares and the king's the corner, it's stalemate. So you have to be very careful. Okay. I showed this to Fusi last night, actually. Okay. So the simplest way to do this, and he's doing a great job, mm -hmm. is you want to keep your queen a knight's distance away from the enemy king, except when it's all the way in the corner. As I said, if you have your queen a knight square away, then it's stalemate because your queen will take away the, the remaining squares. I like that. It's a very stressful way to Don't remember. go king of five. Don't go king of five. It's stalemate. Oh, no! 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 Oh. oh, what a game he played, too. Oh, XQC, no. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and the song ended. It's just radio silence. I win, though, right? Oh I win. My gosh. I win, though, right? Because she was white and she was That's favorite. That's a hard one. Hikari, you win. seem... Uh, I win. Right? Well, I, I mean, the, 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 the issue I have with that is that he gave up the knight... And it, the only reason you should give up the knight is if you're a hundred percent sure you know how to make the checkmate. Um, and he didn't know he didn't know how to make the checkmate with the king and the queen. So that's that's my criticism is that he should not have given up the knight unless he was a hundred percent sure that he could make the checkmate. Yeah, that's oh, unfortunate. Yeah, I will say I don't. It's not a natural thing. I don't think to like figure out how the checkmate works because you don't really think in terms of uh stalemates and what your opponent can't do right so i i only kind of learned recently i do it like like it's a rook king that's the only way i know how to do it otherwise i'll stalemate that makes sense too mm -hmm. and the technique from like the starting point what i was saying was that keeping the knight the queen and knight's distance away is that if the king goes to the side you follow it one square over if mm -hmm. the king goes back diagonally you follow it one Towards the queen side diagonally. If the king comes diagonally to the right, you follow suit. But the one time you stop is right here. Because if king to h8, if you bring your queen here, this king has no more squares and stalemate. Mm -hmm. So you stop right here and then you dart your king back to help to deliver the checkmate. Because only white can only move these pieces here. And for all 85,000 plus you, welcome. I mean, this is XQC versus Flucy, now game two. And <sighs> You just learn how to checkmate with a queen and a king versus king. Yeah. Yeah, a, a bit of a shame um, that he didn't close it out. But, I mean, he did play really well the whole game. I mean, he had enough of an advantage that he was, like, plus five or six at, at peak. So, yeah, uh, if he gives himself just an – you just got to give yourself an easier mate. That's it. Mm -hmm. Maybe yeah, I'm a I one mean, that... pony, but, you know, at least I can do queen rook mate. 
Yeah, I, I think Queen and Rook, most people can do, but just the Queen is certainly harder um, for mm-hmm. sure. But but I think, yeah, the main thing that I would say is that he should not have given up the Knight unless he was 100% sure that he knew how to make the checkmate. Um, that was the main main issue. Yeah, it's and now it's, unfortunately, you're in this position where you're probably kind of criticizing yourself. You're not pl- going to be as objective about the game because you're still beating yourself up over the first game. And right. what the great thing that Fusi has done, she has played her openings very quickly. And mm-hmm. she didn't end up in time trouble in the first game, but she's already up almost a minute on the clock. And we have the Karakon set up here. And good move by XQC to protect this pawn. Mm-hmm. Did you show her this or not? I did. Okay. Look at her go. So what I told her and for everybody watching is that this bishop, one move ago, if you put your pawn to e6 where you want to go, the bishop gets stuck. So you develop the bishop out, and that way you can play e6 with a very strong pawn structure and everything is safe and sound. For everybody who's new to the channel here, this is game two. Whoever wins this game moves on to the quarterfinals, and assume the semifinals, and not only do they do that, they play Ludwig our lovely commentator alongside us here. <laughs> so if this is a draw, it goes to the 3-0. It right. goes to a blitz game. Okay. I understand best of two now. You just get white and black, and then we get to the blitz. And, well, that should favor XQC because he just showed in that last game he is kind of a speed demon. And for Fusli, sometimes when she's not sure of herself, she spends quite a bit of time. And here she's doing well, though. Put her bishop back on G6. It was under attack. And now her bishop's putting pressure in the center. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think D openings are I don't I don't see them a lot and I don't like them. So I am mad that you taught this to Foosley. Uh and Hikar, if you just have a moment just later on today, if you can just teach me like what we might do here. <laughs> That'd be well, great. That'd be great. Wow, okay. Well, also, you know, I don't know what to say. Let's listen to Foosley. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what my next move is. Um it's probably something like push this hat move uh yeah, push this up. Let's see, so right now... Okay, he also, I realized, he just had to do this. His, like, if he castles this way, his king side is super weak. So that's, like, pretty good for us. Um, sure. I'm gonna do this, finish off my hat, and then I'm gonna do this. And I might like to push this pawn as well. Maybe if the if so is he gonna castle this way? So far it looks pretty solid for her. Yeah, I feel like she's doing what you're telling her to do, but she does not seem confident doing it. Mm-hmm. Well, my rule number one to her was be confident. <laughs> and it did easier said than pod. done yeah it's uh and then the second rule was just win forehead so you know it seems like <laughs> she's doing some of those uh yeah i think she did bring up good points that it'd be tough to castle kingside I, I if i could predict xqc probably loves castling queenside because it has an immediate threat with the rook i like castling queenside too because of that so i assume that's probably would prefer to do if he can even get that bishop out of there yeah, I was going to say, I noticed his game against Hutch, he did push the pawn and develop the bishop. Like, he did play a b3, bishop b2 move. So if he actually comes up with that, it'll be very hard, I think, for uh, for Foosley to react to that. Mm-hmm. Because she's used to getting the bishop on this d6 square, on this dark square with the pawn formation around it, and then attacking towards the king. But here she's not going to actually get that, because I assume XCC is going to castle the other way. Well, the best thing for Foosley about the capture, if we just go back a move, is she doesn't play knight of six which allows that E5 push, which we saw in the first game. So Mm -hmm. with the capture, that tactic's out the window, but there's a queen on E2, there's a king on E8. So will XQC see this pawn hanging on D5? Right. Ooh, that's a tough, that's a tough find. I don't think that's too dissimilar of a skill from like finding a discovered check though. Mm -hmm. Now the one, I think it's, it depends how they castle the kings. If XQC does not castle the king, king side. Oh, oh, oh. This XQC is a different animal. What is happening? This guy's a beast. That a hey, same animal, different beast. Whatever the phrase is, he's he's on to something here. Uh, hey, you're you're the lit major here. Don't don't <laughs> don't question yourself. Yeah, uh, yeah that's uh, honestly I love everything he's doing because at the level we're at, things like this get you so much mileage. For Just sure, pins I'm- and discovered checks are like just they're so they're so good. 
because nobody sees them and they'll fall right into them. Right. Very true. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think really the question is what happens here is who castles which way. I mean, I, if they both castle their kings to the, the same side, which should be the queen side, I think the game will still still go on for a long time. But if they end up with the kings on, castling on the opposite side, somebody is going to be getting checkmated. Right. And the white king, as Fusi was saying earlier, it's going to be hard to castle, especially now with his rook on h8 staring down here. Your rook is needed to protect that pawn. But let's listen in to XQC and hear his thoughts about this position. <laughs> yeah, he, wa he wants to say f it and just take it. There it is. I'm going for caution. I'm going for it. <laughs> ah, I don't like that. Ah, la, 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 la. Could have been better. Yeah, could have been better. If I did this and it, uh, it would have been better. No, it wouldn't have been better, actually. Yeah, I think what he did was great, but I, I feel that sentiment that it seems Shit. lazy sometimes. And one of the earliest lessons you guys teach us is that, you know, just trading doesn't seem like the best option all the time. Right. Let me think about this. Mm, not bad. What did he do to protect the queen here? I, it has to be a thing. Don't. This up. Don't this up. Good move. Queen traded. Queen traded. Hey. Queen traded. Take it. Ooh. This is so risky. This is so risky. This is so risky. Is it risky, you guys think? It definitely is risky. No, I want that. I want that. I want that so bad. <laughs> Should risk nothing, you get nothing in life, dude. <laughs> He's so nervous to do it. He's spending so much time just fighting his better judgment and get then it, get not it. even listening to it. <laughs> gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme. Yeah, it is risky for sure. Because he, his king's in the center. This movie's queen a bunch. Oh my god. Next move is even sicker. Bop. Check. Nah, but she's gonna move the queen like over here or something like that. She knows it's coming. That'd be really good if she did that more. Tough moment, seriously. Tough moment for every player. player. Okay, that's a free knight. Wait. What? He's having Shit. tunnel vision on the queen. Block. Yeah. Yeah, I think this is a tough spot because like you, your queen is so scary being there. Oh. What about just take? <laughs> <laughs> what, what about just take? Okay. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be that easy. There's no way. Come on, <laughs> this is not real. There's some sort I of scam going on here, dude. I, chess. I mean, this would be checkmates. No way. My queen, we're gonna get my queen. Not this, not this, not this. I have to. I have to. You did it. I think we would all perform 500 points above our level if we just had somebody there saying, yeah, man, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be your high level. Rob, I'm going to employ you. All right, I'll pay you 725. It's federal minimum wage. <laughs> you just got to say, hey, man, yeah, go for it. That's great. Okay, that works for me. That, that seems like a fair <laughs> trade.
Uh, wow. Now XUC it's in a similar position to the last game, right? He's just kind of crushing. Yeah, pretty much. The, the only issue is again, he has to, the one thing that I said earlier still applies. He has to remember to get all the pieces into the game. Cause the Bishop and the Rook are still on the queen side. The Bishop and the Rook are still on the original squares. That's the only mm -hmm. issue he has here. That's right. And his King is a bit unsafe. His King will be safer for castles queen side, but if he feels like he needs to get his King out of the center, because like, that's what all the coaches taught me. And he goes to the King side. That's when this Rook. And even if not for the Rook captures the pawn here, there's a lot of open space in front of the King. Mm-hmm. Whoa, oh no. That's a uh, free pawn, right? Yeah. yeah that's a, a lot of material happening here. Also, knight here is very good as well, hitting this queen, threatening this bishop. I think what we'll see is XGC trying to force a queen trade eventually. Maybe even Yeah, I, I think as long as, as long as he moves the knight, takes the pawn, or moves it to the c6 square, he's going to reach an end game where Fusli only has one rook or two rooks on the board. Mm -hmm. And that's very critical that he reached that because he's using way too much time here. So I think knight c6 is, is the move that he should play. And I've seen him hovering over that square. He's been kind of looking at it. But there's one big downside to that move. And because you think of capturing pieces, so if knight c6, queen to d7, and you, oh, I blundered my rook here. And then you say, oh, I blundered my other rook here. This is a moment, and I know it's pretty far down the line, where even though white is up many rooks, two of them, this king on e1 is really unsafe because this queen's coming in with some checks. Right, exactly. Yeah, I mean, knight c6 is the is the move that I, I think he should play, but we'll see. We'll see what he's going to do. He's he's using way too much time here, though. That's the one thing I would say. Um, that's why I feel like at this point it's super critical that he plays one of those knight moves right away. So he's got to he's got to just trust himself and play knight to c6. He's also been looking at this queen check, which is actually very good. Mm hmm. If he can find that, because then the knight will capture. So if there's a check on this king, the king can't go to these squares. So the king would have to go to f8. And once the knight captures, that's check to the king and to the rook. Right. I think he's going to go for it. I'm still worried about his clock, though. And yeah, the clock situation is the big issue here, for <sighs> sure. I think the upside is that he, he does go for it. I think the upside is that even if uh, he does end up drawing this he has so much upside in the 3-0 as well like even if he like he has to like uh i forget what you keep calling it Flag right well in, in the, yeah but the problem is also i don't think it's going to be easy to draw this because there's still going to be queens and rooks on the board that's sure. that's why i think it's still very unclear here in terms of what's going to happen because if he had moved the knight to one of the other squares he would have been able to get a queen and a bishop off the board whereas here he's going to be get, giving up a knight for one rook so black still will have a queen and a rook on the board, which is more than enough firepower to create threats and maybe even checkmate ideas. Right. And Fusi, she was thinking about blocking with her queen, but then she recognized that for white, the knight and the queens uh, take care of that square. So queen seven would be a bad move. And I've seen her hover. I hope she recognizes that her king can also move. <laughs> This does seem tough though. What what is like? Is there in a correct response or is this is this? Uh... There's only one move and it's king to f8. Only move mm. that's playable here. Typical uh, scenario of Zug Zwang, wouldn't you say? <gasps> she played it. Oh. oh 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 wow. Okay okay. So we'll, I think XUC should be able to win the game now. Because he has an extra queen and he's got a lot, he's got bishops and rooks on the board. Um, so I think he should be able to win. But again, we've we've seen stranger things happen. We certainly have, and I really think she just forgot her king can move because she's so often taught, don't move your king, right? Get castle. So if you move your king, you no longer can castle. So you mix and match different ideas, and unfortunately, blunders happen in this particular moment. So let's listen into her stream to see if she still feels like she has a chance or unfortunately she feels like she's uh, defeated here. Where are my pieces? Oh. They're all gone. Okay, I've decided XUC is just, he is just better than me that during, at least right now. I mean, like at this moment in time, this happened two games in a row. I just slowly bleed, ple bleed pieces. Including my queen. So sad. This is. I'm getting sad, guys. <sighs> yeah, this is. This is. Uh, 
This is yeah, but weird. I mean, he's still using too much time. So I, I don't think it's like, okay. I, I know well, he's I mean, winning, over, but he's I using way too much time. That's true. Two and a half minutes counting down. Yeah, he's using way too much time here. This is this Maybe is crazy. if I attack his queen here. Right? That's not a bad move. I guess one of the big downsides for her is she's like saying her next move will be pawn a6 to attack the queen is that it's all telegraph. Like, why would you put right. the pawn there? Oh, it's attacking the queen, so he'll retreat his queen. Or maybe castles, which is not a good move. Castles, Ooh. okay, fine. Now he's just got to he's just got to move. But again, he's tunneling. This is sort of what I was saying before, where he's not bringing the rook and the bishop into the game. Right. And you know, as we see here, he only has under two minutes, minute fifty seconds counting down. Yeah. And there are some chances for her if she sees in the future that his pawn h three can be captured and she can swing her other rook. Into the game. Right, I mean, he's just got to move. Like, this is crazy. What is he doing? What is he doing? This is he insane. finally dropped his queen back there. Good move, too. Protecting the spawn. I don't know if he sees the h3 take. But I mean, does... I'm thinking that maybe he's just forgetting about the time, actually. I think he might just be forgetting that he doesn't have, have that much time left. That did maybe happen. he's just not thinking about it. Papa Plata. I mean, the same thing. He, he was shocked when he lost from timeout. True, true, yeah. Well, let's listen to XQC and hear what he's thinking in this position where he is up a queen. Every move, so I can, I can recover. The game, every move will be expensive at the beginning, but once the map, the mental map is all mapped out, it's all about playing, not about thinking. <laughs> and he's gonna stop. Stop moving, please. You're annoying. Well, that's a very good play. The time. Yeah, he's thinking too long. Yeah. I did not foresee this. Wait, this also works. Okay. I just hope he says something about the time so I know that he knows about it. Takes, takes. <laughs> takes, 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 takes. <laughs> five seconds every move. I need to think for love how less than five seconds every move. Scenario. Okay, what, do I, what are my goals? <laughs> get this up or that up and get my dude out of the way. Get my dude into the file for position and not lose pieces and move fast. These are my goals. These are my goals. This is my planning. These are my goals that I need to do. That's what I'm going to do. He seems aware of the time, though, at least. Yeah. Don't lose pieces. Engage all the pieces. Then we can start thinking about doing. That's a good move by Fusi, though. One. She confused him by bringing her rook in. Mm-hmm. What's happening? He's getting a little stressed. He is? I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the, the lines of this song is throwing me on a wild ride. Come on. These moves are so odd. That was a good move. Now, rook e1 is the critical move. Will XCC see rook to e1? Because he was highlighting it before. Will he see it? It's a big question. Oh, he does see it. He just needs Robert Hess to be there going like, yeah, man, you got it. Yeah, well, he's got to pay doing... me 750, right? Yes, I'm doing fine. <laughs> 725. Come on, Robert. Oh, excuse Federal. me. Uh, I, that way, I would leave you as your hype man to go to him. <laughs> ah, I see, I see. I'm doing fine. 
So she should take the pawn h3. I'm doing fine. Problem is, I think queen takes pawn take. is too obvious. That's yeah, fucking huge. huge. That is, that is huge. But I don't know if she'll see rook d6. It's a very Bing. difficult move for treating the rook to protect the pawn. And then move. Bing. If she doesn't do anything crazy here, my next move is going to be insane. Bang. Oops. Okay, there you go. Queen takes here, pawn. Man. It's... Ooh, I don't like this at all. So it's forced checkmate in two moves. Will he see this the knight move or not? This is this is fat. I think he's it, gonna no, turn no, 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 it move. I still get this. I get this hundred. I get this one hundred percent. Is there There's a major nothing... right here for uh? He takes though. Okay. For black? Not really. No, but knight d seven check forced the king to the center and it was checkmate. It still should be winning. But it's easy to get scared of two rooks barreling right. down the h file towards your king. The one good thing is I don't see a I don't see a checkmate pattern. Right. So as long as he moves quickly here, he is down to under. Got to move though. Yeah, under fifty seconds. Uh... Eating up time for this one. Oh, he's in serious time trouble now. This is a good check. What's in on the clock? Come on. Got it. I don't have enough time to think right now. I, I can't think. I, I, have to, I have to just go fast. Recognizes king was in danger, so he moved it through, towards the center where he's more pieces. Okay, I mean, now, now, now we, 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 we need to gather time. And I'm, I'm only playing to get a time now. I'm only playing to get a time now. I'm only gonna play to just get to get some time, get my clock back up. I need, I need to resupply, and I can do this, this. Can, it, it, what are easy ones I can do? I can do, I can do this. This is good. Takes, takes. I can do this. I can do take, take. What is this? What, what else I can do? I can do take, take. Hmm. Not take, take. This is even better. Move, that's good. Take. Cool on time. I'm, I'm gonna move my rook over here. Like this. Take, take, take. Take, okay. He now even has take, more time. Take, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think he can just, you know, go, go super speed or whatever it is. Yeah, you can just move the... There's no danger because there are only rooks on the board here. So, unless he allows a stalemate, he should, he should Let's win Let's just the get the here. pawns out of there, man. Just do the pawn race. There's no point even trying any, anything else. Why bother, dude? Just get some time. Do the pawn race. Bing, bang, bang, bang. <laughs> promote. Takes, takes. That's it. I don't have to worry about anything else. All I have to worry about is this not killing anything. This, this, this structure is very good for everything. All I have to worry about is nothing. I don't have to worry about anything. Yeah, let's go. Let's get out. It's shown seriously good recognition throughout today's match. The come crazy on, thing on, is he on, sees on, all on, the important on, stuff, and then he even sees the stuff that you wouldn't think takes. about. Like mm -hmm. a rook taking a pawn and then dying. Like he's looking at that. I don't know why he's looking she's at it, but he's running out of time, though. She's got to move. Two seconds on the clock. Uh oh. Yes! Yeah, baby! There let's it is. Go! Big win. Big point Mom, jump up, too. Wow. Easy. He is.
amped and he I just told you guys I to told the you guys the world of come back did it. I told you did what a game I what a match you. he almost won both games but we will be right back in a bit because well when he comes down we'll have him on for an interview to hear his thoughts on what was an absolutely epic performance and we are back bringing on both Fusli and XQC XQC man what an effort by you you played phenomenally well Oh, thanks, man. I mean, like, what, what have you been doing? How have you been practicing? Um, okay. So I feel bad about this, okay? But I, I'm just going to say it straight up. Um, I've been, like, busy with a lot of stuff. So I haven't taken Hikaru's lessons. But I watched a couple of his videos and his streams when I have time. And um, a couple of tricks that he... Like, the smallest, small things, like, two or three things that I picked up on, like, made a crazy difference. Like even a small, like there's two things key that I made. They made the crazy difference. It's moving the the rooks on the pile at the bottom, and and at the bottom unfolding the pawn, so I can I can move my um the bishop across to the to, to the rook, and these two things like made a million more options for the game. Yeah, and firstly, well, it was a tough match for you. You did survive that first game because a stalemate. So yeah. did, did you feel like you had some chances or did you feel like, well, I mean, honestly, XQC was outplaying you. He was so outplaying me. I could feel it. He does. He's super aggro. And so I kept, he would take a piece and I'd take it and it like mess up my pawn position. So I was like, damn, and he'd do it again and then again. And then I'd have all these stacked pawns. And then I was just, all I could think of <laughs> was lessons that people were saying like, oh, you never want your double pawns. Double pawns are bad. Double. So I'm like, and then like that, that I just started to crumble. Um, so I was hoping for a stalemate uh in the first round and we got it uh and then the second round yeah i just i forgot the, the timer I, d I didn't even see it <laughs> i was like wait how did i maybe did i win <laughs> xqc i gotta ask you about your opening because it feels like every player has had a coach and knows their first eight moves by heart and what you did confused every person watching what did you plan your opening or are you just winging it well what i noticed is that i have one of the openings on white but I have no openings for black. And when I'm black, I use my, I use my board backwards, right? To where the, you know, the, the website puts my black at my position. Yeah. And everything is inversed. I feel like I'm in, a, I'm in Australia. I'm like upside down, dude. And it doesn't make sense, you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah. so I was just winging it. But it's why the opening was so trash. Yes, you kept playing D and you, you just said you had nothing for that. You just had nothing what? for like a D file opening. Yo, I didn't know what to do. She kept opening like the, like sideways <laughs> and 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 queen's pawn. What is queen's pawn? What is that opening? What are you gonna do with queen's pawn? I don't know what to do against that. Yeah, but it's almost good in a way because the thing is like all of us are coached to do the first 10 moves and we're supposed to respond to good moves, but you don't do good moves. You do your own thing that we have no idea how to respond to. Cause it's, it's no one teaches you. Oh yeah, he's gonna bring up the B pawn, then the C pawn. That makes no sense yeah so it clearly ended up working out yeah i i, I noticed right there um, at the beginning like i put all my pawns like like planked up at the top and i was like dude what am i even going with this man like i know what i'm doing with this and i was like if somebody like if you plan this opener out right it makes sense but it, that's what i thought i thought this makes no sense but it probably doesn't make sense to her either you know? It makes no sense, no. <laughs> and Fusli, actually, at this point here, when XCC played E5, he had this great idea oh. trying to win your pieces. But yeah. if you counted how many times he's protecting the square on E5 compared to how many times you're attacking, so you could have taken his pawn here, and when he takes you back, you could take again with the knight because your bishop is here protecting it. I know, I tunneled. I, I couldn't. Oh. Question? Yes? <laughs> is, is, that what, is that what you do when you play it? Do you... I always refrain from doing that because I thought it was stupid, but you actually have to count how many times it's protected. Like, like pawn take, that's one. Rook takes, that's two. Bishop take, that's three. You, you count them? Yeah. <laughs> you, should always, you should always be alert to see how many pieces are protecting the square. Mm. Okay, that makes sense. It was well-played, Gabe's. I, every time I thought I had him, I would like, okay, next move, there's no way. And then he'd find a move that like counted both, like, both possibilities. And I, so... I deserve to lose. Good well, I mean, I have a question. I have a question for you, XQC. Yep. So we had Ludwig on doing commentary, 
And then I realized that he was playing the winner of this match. So you play him next. So Ooh. right now you're all friendly, but what do you want to say to Ludwig Lot as you Ludwig. face him in the semifinals? Take a journey. Listen, 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 listen. Yeah. I, I don't want to make too much spice, okay? Uh-huh. But listen, Ludwig is kind of that friend from high school who played like 2,000 games of league and he's still silver. That's, that's kind of how it is. So I guess we'll see you next round, dude. But if I put a little bit more time, dude, listen, you're not making it through. Put the time in. Put, I, would, I would put, <laughs> you want to do a little sideways here? I'll give the 100 subs if you beat me. You don't have to Whoa. put anything up. Uh, yeah, okay, I'll match it. 100 subs. You'll match it? Game. Easy money. Subs, sure. Yeah. Uh, easy money. Sure, man. <laughs> <laughs> if I lose, I'll just win an ad. No, I'm kidding. I, I, listen, I'll see you next Look, time. I know your plays. I've seen you discover checks. You have great pins. I'm watching out for him, though. And I'll, hey, guess what my opening is? D4. I only play D4 now. <laughs> Okay. Can, you teach, can you teach me D4, by the well, way? I'll make, sure that, I'll, make sure, <laughs> dude, I'll make sure to not leave D4. I'm going to give you the craziest response that you, you will not first see. And, and yeah. every scripted move will be absolutely obliterated and crushed underfoot. That's so scary, but I'm going to be ready for it and, and win. Listen, you, listen. <laughs> there's only one winner that comes out of the next match, buddy. And it's going to be me. But we'll see. Damn. We'll see. I'd love to see it. You're, you're a high and mighty. Look, I'm happy you won a game, but... Let's look at the record, XQC. Listen, I got momentum. One of my good friends always say, speed, violence, momentum. And then that's in my favor. <laughs> so you have right. to wind it up a I little bit. Beat that. I can't beat that. If he's got that on his side, that's pretty, that's pretty hard. Wait, look, right. you went from super confident to now being he's got speed vi- He's got speed, violence, and momentum. Yeah. He's mutuals with Dr. Disrespect on Twitter. Dr. <laughs> Disrespect is probably better than Hikaru at chess for being honest for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I have a strategy, Robert, that I think will work out. Hikar, are you uh, you teaching XUC at all? If he wants me to, I will. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. straight. So, yeah, we'll have, good, we'll good, have good. a couple Hikaru, sessions. Hikar, just you know, I'll just slide in your DMs. Don't worry about what we're gonna talk about, but you know, <laughs> just whatever you teach him, I'll just be talking to you right after, all right. directly okay. after clear an hour. Ludwig, man, I feel a little ignored over here. Like Robert, you know- uh, look, I'm sorry. Who did you coach out of curiosity? Okay, don't give me that attitude. No, no, I'm just wondering, who did you coach that played today? Was it? Wow, what the? I'm, wow. Just, I'm just asking questions. I'm sorry, I'm just an interviewer. What can I say? Look, I know, Robert, you have two lessons, and I'll follow them till I die. Confidence and don't say sorry. There we go. That, that's, that's a big part of it. But but dang. I don't want to learn your London, because that didn't work for me at all. <laughs> Hikaru actually taught me the London. So. <laughs> Originally, yes. <laughs> Yes. Originally, yeah. <laughs> it worked against E Rob, so I was, I was pulling it out again. But then, oh, I'm gonna, yeah. oh, all right, well, so I'm gonna hit up. Sorry, Ludwig. Keep, keep I'm talking. hitting up Hans. I'm hitting up Hans. Keep, keep talking. Hans, again? Hans is the goat. Hans worked with who? Slicker and um, and me, baby, and me. And we're going oh. all the way. I'm okay. excited to play XQC. I think it'll be interesting. Yeah. When is it? Is yeah. there a date? Yeah, it, but not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow, I think. Yeah. Okay. 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 I, well, I have never, I have never lost a single game in any of those bracket tournament ever, and that's not about a change. It never happened, never will. So I'll see you in two days, man. I'll see you then, bud. All right, All right. see you guys. All right, thanks for having me, guys. Goodbye. All right, bye. Thanks, Lee. Thank and you. We, and we see in the consolation bracket now we have XQC taking on Ludwig. I think nobody is rooting for Ludwig anymore. I think he's lost all of his fans just by he burned bridges. Right? I've been the villain from the start, haven't I? Haven't I been the villain from the start? It's okay. It's consolation. All right? Yeah, no one needs a hero. I was doing the Batman <laughs> voices before the show, and now you became the Joker. I, I'm down for the Joker, all right? The, the top brackets, that's where the heroes are. That's where, the, that's where like, the, the anime Naruto is. Down here, it's all villains. It's all And at the end of the day, we'll see who wins. We'll see who well, wins. I'm just going to wait. I'm going to let my play talk. All right, well, in this bracket, how about up top? Boy Boy versus Box Box. That's a pretty big matchup there. Is it all Boy Boy in your opinion? I, I don't know. Boy Boy, Box Box is the most interesting one because Box Box's motivation to enter was playing Boy Boy. But Boy Boy just seems like a different he's, – he's a different animal. He's just cut different. Uh, I feel like he can read divorce keys and then be GM in like five years if he tried. <laughs> so I, I don't know. I, I feel nervous, my boy Box Box, but I'm rooting for Box Box the whole way. And I think Hutch has it on the other side for sure. Hey, Carl, you agree with that? 
Um, yeah, I mean, I think Hutch is a big favorite for sure. I think uh, Voivoy and Box Box, in, unless Box Box does some special preparation in advance of the match and he catches Voivoy in something, I think Voivoy is the big favorite. But anything can happen, and um, and I, I don't think it's going to be smooth sailing the way that everyone thinks it will be for Voivoy. Well, but I do expect him to win. Well, I think the most important question that we have remaining is between Moist Critical and Slicker. Okay, that's the matchup of mm-hmm. the semifinals here. No offense, Ludwig. And what do you think? <laughs> Between Charlie and Slicker. Yeah, I mean, I think I think Charlie is probably the favorite. He's been playing a lot of chess, doing a lot of lessons. I think I've, I've seen him streaming chess literally every day for the last week, I think, now. So he's just been putting a lot of time. And his rate, rating has improved a lot. So I think he's probably the big favorite. But uh, Slicker is probably getting some some coaching as well. So, so again, you assume that they're favorites, but... But we'll see, and um, and so I'm I'm hoping Charlie can win because then he'll then he'll play uh, probably play Felix in the final the, uh, <laughs> the consolation bracket. What do you? What, <laughs> isn't there somebody else, Ikaru? What's I, going I, on, man? <laughs> I'll, I'll put anything. I I seen how you play Valorant. You're a one trick pony, <laughs> walking around shooting, can't hold an angle yes. for your life. All of a sudden, you think you can start betting on horses? <laughs> <laughs> Watch yourself, man. Watch yourself. I'm gonna stream snipe all your Valorant games today because because of that. Okay, okay. Bring it on, man. Bring it on. Anyway, but yeah, I think it's it's gonna be great. I'm just glad that everybody's having a good time more than anything. Um, so it's it's been, it's just gonna be great to see the last couple of matches. And of course, good luck to you as well, Ludwig. Man, if I lose, I'm burning bridges. All right, everybody <laughs> at Chess.com can eat my. I better win. I better win. I'm gonna. I'm ooh. I'm I'm expecting to be hit up later with an apology. Wait, hey, can you can you help me now? But I may say no. But Lord, we're gonna serious note. It's been really fun having you on for the call. You play XQC next, so next time we see you, you'll be a player instead of a commentator. I'll see you all Friday, and uh, I think I think any of the four would be hype, but I don't want to lose. All right, well. We're going to be checking you out. I guess Hikaru is not going to be rooting for you, but I'll root for you. I got you. Thanks, Robert. Thank- I got hey, you You back. know what I said earlier, man, about you being a history major and that being a waste of time? I didn't mean that. I think it's actually so cool. Can you- so you just want me to erase the history that we just had here, all this beef. And- no, you know what? We're calling the show, everybody. Thank you so much, I- I all you who've been tuning in. You're so cool, Robert. Yeah, no, sorry. Keep- your <laughs> outro's great. Keep going with your outro. It's so good. Don't interrupt me next time, then. So- yeah, yeah. It was a pleasure until stopping a pleasure to have Ludwig along for the commentary. We will see the semifinals next. There will be more pot champs tomorrow, but for now, enjoy the rest of your evening and have a good one.